Happy, sad, happy, sad, so happy. Okay, I was really excited. Um, yesterday when I went to the thrift store, I found quite a few Halloween items and no, the things I'm showing you right now that I'm focused on, those were not from the thrift store, but these were in this bag that I paid a dollar for were these die cuts. Look at this. Yes, this has some problems, but it does not matter. Um, it was made by the Bystol Company, and I just thought this was adorable. Oh, my dog is jumping on my leg. Okay, there's my puppy. <laughs> Look at her. She was in there, too. Made in USA by Stoll Company. She's beautiful. This cat, I love this cat. He's just a very iconic image. We all know and love him. And of course, he's by Stoll. Then this wonderful, excuse the glare. Love it. Yeah, it was a very good dollar I spent. Love this. This is 1973 Bystel. And sorry, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. This guy is. Where is it? I know there's a date on here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Um. Oh, I guess he doesn't have a date. But he's still company, USA. This guy, we all know and love him. Okay, here's here's the one that had the date on it. Um, 1973, the Bystol Company. Love him. And then this cutie patootie, this little cute scarecrow. Um, 1979 Bystel. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. And then last but not least, Miss Witchy. Is she not wonderful? <laughs> I, love I love her. And we've all seen that face. Love that face. And she is from 19... Where is it? 1973 also. So for a dollar, I got these and I am so stinking excited to have them. Okay, the other day, I'm trying to not cut off my head. Oh, my hair is kind of a mess. Anyway, when I was at the thrift store the other day, I looked at the Halloween costume rack and they've got t-shirts and different things. And the first shirt I saw was this one. It says, you can't scare me. I was born in Saginaw. Guys, I was born in Saginaw. And I'm nowhere near Saginaw right now. I was so excited. I had to like show everybody there at the thrift store. <laughs> but anyway, I brought it home and I washed it right away. And I've wore it a few times already. So, But I just wanted to share that because that was like really fun for me. Okay, so at the thrift store, I also found these guys, and I think they are absolutely wonderful. They're made in China. Oh, there's schmutz on his foot. That's okay. There's dust on my horse, too. <laughs> I also got that horse at um, the thrift store, I don't know, quite a while ago. I didn't give much for it, and I was just tickled to death. But yeah, I was excited about them. I will probably keep them with my Halloween collection because they are spooktacular. 
and just wanted to share them with you on camera. Okay, there was this cute little music box, and it's kind of like, oh, you know, engraved, probably with a laser or whatever. But I thought that was super cute. Yeah. Then I picked up this little, well, it's like a flashlight. And it's from Silver Dollar City, which is not too far from me. And I know these are pricey there, and I only paid a dollar. So I guess it's like a, maybe a fan there. It feels like a fan. Or maybe something was attached to the top and spun around. Or you can just put it on the light show there. So I will probably keep this also. Then this is a doll that I picked up for a dollar, oh, a couple weeks ago. And I finally painted on her last night. And I'm just going for um, like a little doll dressed up for Halloween. And I think she's kind of cute. Those eyes, I tell you. And that hair. She's got really neat hair. <laughs> but she had a pink dress on. I'll try to insert a picture of what she looked like before. And I painted the dress black. And then just kind of dry brushed a little bit of white on her. Um, well, I guess it'd be her skin, but the ceramic, her arms and legs. And yeah, so that's fun. So if you're ever looking for like a fun little Halloween project that's really inexpensive. Just get you a doll from the thrift store and some paint and have a little fun. You can make her look however you want. I've done them with like pumpkin faces and uh, witches and it's just fun. It, okay, I say fun a lot, but it's true. I mean, it's just something to craft on and yeah. Happy? Sad? Happy, sad, so happy. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one that likes to go to thrift stores. My husband stopped at one today. Um, they got off work early and he was like killing time, I guess. And he went into this one that we have not been in before. And yeah, he grabbed this guy. I absolutely love it. I didn't have one. I've never had one. And I, I, like I said, I love it. There is no name on it that I could find. But that's okay. I know he's awesome. And um, it also had inside of it some fun little thingamajiggers. This guy right here was in there. Okay, and I already had one, and I know that um, I gave money for that. I can't remember who I bought it from. It might have been an eBay purchase, but I think I think it was kind of expensive. You know, like maybe ten bucks or something. And this one was inside the bucket. All this stuff was inside the bucket, and he gave a stinking dollar. Can you even imagine? Okay, I'm trying to look. Here's a little Pez dispenser that was in there, and it's a doctor. And then there was these little, like, plastic garden tools, like for dolls or something. I don't know. This funny little rock pendant. And this little, um, oh, what do you call that? Is it a Ferris wheel? Yeah, Ferris wheel. So that's kind of fun. And I might put that over by one of my uh, clowns. I mean, I don't have, a, it's not like I have a lot of clowns. I've got a clown bank jar and then I've got a couple clowny things out for Halloween and that's, that's it. But yeah, very excited about his find. I love it. I love it a lot. Look at that face. That's so great. Okay, what else did we get today? 
I forgot to show this lion. It was in there too. I don't know anything about it. It's a really thin plastic. I don't think it's celluloid. Um, but he's cute and I think I will put it over by my lion jar bank. Let's go see what that would look like. Okay, so I put him there by my lion jar bank or bottle bank. And I kind of like that. I'm wanting to start like putting little matching things or similar things with all my little um, jar banks. I've got several. I'm just going to give a quick look right there. I've got, and then I've got more than that too. So we'll go over that one day. I'm going to share all those. Yeah, I think Mr. Lion looks cute with these old little cards and that lion bank. And Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, y'all. Wish he'd focus. Focus. Be right there. This Pez dispenser that was in that bucket that my husband got for a dollar. I looked him up on eBay and I am just like, oh my goodness. I had no idea. So right here, I'll insert some uh, comps. There's one for sale right now. And I think the bids are up to 147 or 57. Um, I'll screenshot it and insert it here. And I'll also show what they have sold for. And um, after this one listing sells on eBay for this guy, I'm going to go ahead and list this one. So you might um, look up Pummel's Ventiquities on eBay and see how it goes. Watch along with me. But um, yeah, that dollar he spent, holy moly. Now I'm afraid that he's going to be addicted too. He always thinks I'm like a hoarder bringing all this stuff home. But it really is fun. You never know what you're going to find. And I don't know. It's fun, you guys. Um, okay, we'll see what happens. All right, well, it's Saturday morning, and I thought I would share um, the rest of the items that I picked up from the thrift store uh, this week. And um, let's see, I'm kind of on a sugar hangover. <laughs> Last night we had, um, well, my sister had a Hocus Pocus watch party, and boy, did we eat the sugar, but it was such a good time, and I loved the movie. Did anyone else watch Hocus Pocus 2? It was awesome, I thought. So, anyway, so here are some things that I picked up. I thought this was really interesting, the way the frame was made. Um, the print that is, from what I can tell, decoupaged onto the wood. This is 1978. And I thought that was kind of cool. So I got it. And then I picked up one of these, whoops. Yeah, there goes everything. One of these spoon holders. I think that's what it is. Yeah, because I just recently saw, and I don't know where to give credit. I think I saw it on Facebook. Um, people were putting their old handkerchiefs in here and like, you know, the top part and then kind of displaying them bunched up and I thought that was so cute so when I saw this I was like yeah we're gonna do that so I picked that up and then this is just probably like a Dollar General or a Hobby Lobby uh, metal piece with a oh a prop back there so it stand up and you can use it as a cookbook holder maybe or I don't know I think it would be good uh, repainted but it's magnetic so you could just magnetize your postcards or pictures or whatever to it and don't even worry about the paint job. So we got that. Then this little thing, she is heavy or he, um, I don't know. Yeah. So I picked that up. I thought it'd be great around Christmas. Stand up. I'm not on a level ground right now. And I got this I thought it'd be great for utensils or you know whatever um, then this little pilgrim girl I could not find her friend 
but I thought during Thanksgiving she'd be cute. And this is a party light votive holder. Um, liked that for Halloween. I thought I could stick a little pumpkin on top. And this actually, that I'm sure that came from Dollar General, but it came with this container. So it was like uh, two for two dollars. I got both pieces for two dollars. Then these are a bunch of little coasters with funny little sayings. I'm trying to read that. Okay. Anyway, we can't go through all of them, but there are a whole stack of these funny coasters. And I don't know when they're from. Probably 60s? I don't know. But I thought they were cute. I picked up a whole stack of them for a dollar. I just thought they'd be fun to do something with. Then we picked up some old books. I just really like the color of that. Got this uh, 101 Spooky Halloween Jokes. And it's from 1993. It's not real old. Let's see if we can go to any funnies. Uh, let's see. I'm so unlucky that when a black cat crosses my path, the cat has bad luck. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> then this was a cute cookbook. Ma's cooking Ozark recipes spiced with old Ozark customs, sayings, and superstitions. So, I don't know. I didn't even look inside, honestly. Um, I think I got all four of those books for like a buck all together. So, yeah, that book and uh, then this book. I guess I didn't show that. Painting and Decorating Home Mechanics Library. But I really like the color of the book for fall. And I did not even look in this book. I guess that must be the dust cover. It's seen better days, but I like it without the dust cover. Then I picked up these, it says placemats. I really love the material a lot. Let me open them. They kind of have like a ruffled edge, really pretty. And then that's the back side. So you could use it either way. Really cute. Okay, here are some other things I picked up. Kind of self-explanatory. Um, this was kind of fun. It's a hair pick and it is uh, cell celluloid. I, I think that's what they said it was. Yeah, celluloid. And I did pay up for it, but it's pretty. And I don't usually find any of these at the thrift store. I think I gave three dollars. Um, I I like it. And then I got a chicken water bottom. Thought that would make a cute trinket tray. I picked up this huge mug, and it is Cracker Barrel. And it's dirty; needs to be washed. But that was great for fall colors. Then they had this, just the top to a fairy lamp, an amber one. But I thought it would look cute on a, oh, one of the pillar candle holders um, with a tea light under it. Because the amber glow is just beautiful. I've got a couple, well, three, four um, of the amber colored glass fairy lamps. And I love them this time of year. And then this brass guy, and then this walnut, um, I guess you would keep walnuts in it. It was a wood dish. Love it. All these things right here are great for fall. And a few other things I found. I thought this was just lovely, and it's daher. I think that's how you say it. And she's kind of old, but she's beautiful. I love it. Then I found this. 
Um, and it is the licensed product of the False Graph Company. And it's 1985, made in England. And it's got the old cards in it still. Recipe cards. So that's pretty great. Then I love these, and they are Westmoreland. Love them. And this beauty right here is also Westmoreland. Very happy to find that. And it, you can see, let's see if we can get in the sun, the ring of fire. So that's pretty great, I thought. A fun find. Okay, the last thing I'll show you that I picked up from the thrift store were these little three old dress forms. You probably saw them back in the 90s or whenever. Well, I like to take these and paint them black and put a pumpkin on their head and they turn out to be absolutely adorable Halloween uh, decorations. So I'll insert a picture here for you to see and maybe you can do that on your own. It's kind of a fun craft. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for spending some time with me. And uh, if you would, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment. I'd like to hear if you uh, liked any of this stuff this week. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please, please think about subscribing. Or no, don't even think about it. Just go ahead and subscribe. It's totally free. And uh, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.